Well, it's been a long time since y'all probably seen this right here project, but we did an all tracks controller, big battery, Eagle 48 volt, club car president, solenoid, and a Briggs and Stratton E-Tech DC motor. This thing right here is scooted around 33, 34 miles per hour as to how we got it geared. Now, the bad thing about this is the battery. I have completely let the battery go. I have not charged it. I have not, uh, I didn't cut it off when I was supposed to. So I've kind of neglected it. I'm gonna try to open the top of the case up or we're gonna try to apply some voltage in some places in order to get this right here to take a charge again. Because I believe the BMS is going to sleep. And if the BMS is asleep, well, it won't charge, it won't discharge, it won't do anything. And after this, we have a golf cart to do the same thing on someone dropped off. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that on this little mini trike. I'm really gonna do it just to see if we can get the battery going. I'm really thinking about taking all the electronics off of it, putting a little gas motor on here and probably just trying to sell it or whatever. Um, my son and I built this a couple years ago He's got a truck now, and once you get a truck, the toys are still fun, but they're just not ranked high on the priority list. So let's get into it. All right, the battery cells are running four 10 gauge cables negative into the BMS. Looks like we're running two eight gauge cables out, going into the Anderson connector here. This looks to be like a four gauge cable. Now this battery is only 48 volts, 30 amp hours, I believe. And with this little contraption, we've been getting about 15 miles of runtime out of it, but we're gonna try to check the voltage here, even though there's like some paste over the terminals. So that's kind of what we got. So this is kind of my plan. This is the output going into the Anderson connector. This power wire is going down into the cells. This is on, this is off. So right now I don't have any continuity there, but when I turn it on, I will have continuity. Um, looks like a XT, is that XT60, XT90? I don't know exactly which one that is, but these are plugs here. Um, this is going on into the negative of the cells. There's two of these connectors here and both of them are grounds. All of them have continuity with each other. So I need to apply uh, power here, ground here to try to charge the cells back up in order to then be able to hook the charger to it to get it to start taking a charge. I got this lead time battery here. We're gonna to try to jump start this other 48 volt battery. Negative's going into here, going down to the negative. I got my positive going there. I'm gonna just try to jump start it. Need to connect these two here. Not sure what's gonna happen, but look at there. We just barely tapped it. It's starting to come on. Okay. So we're charging it up a little bit. starting to smoke the reason we're starting to smoke is this right here wire god lee that thing it is hot bo that thing it is hot let me connect this stuff back together and connect the charger to it got a charger connected to it is it gonna cut on it's not cutting on just yet there it is charger just cut on we're starting to charge now so we had to jump it. However, look at the amount of amperage it was pulling. Start melting that cable, which is crazy. And anyways, we're charging now. I hate doing that, but that's one of the things you have to do with these lithium batteries. If the BMS goes to sleep and the voltage gets too low, the BMS is not gonna allow the uh, batteries to run down at a certain voltage. So we just jumped it, piggybacked it real quick. 
I need to loosen this up, slide that back in there, tighten it back down, down and uh, go to town. So I'll check this out here in just a little bit. And um, it's been about 24 hours since the last clip. I had a lot to do today. I thought I was gonna get out here sooner. I just couldn't make it. I need to put contactor back in. I need to take the charger out and we should be able to test it. But we're reading 53.6 volts and it's looking good. So I believe this right here trick worked. I just got to, and yeah, we need, also need to put this right here back into place as well. So let me get that going. I'll pick it back up when I'm done. All right, got it all back together. Got it on the jack stand. Turn the key on. All right, it's got voltage down here. The solenoid just clicked. So we're good to go. That right there trick was able to wake this battery up. Now we got to wake another battery up as well. See what I'm dealing with? This is Lake Fentertainment. And I need to put a drain right over there to go underneath that fence, like a French drain. I just need some time. Anyways, we got this golf cart here. We're gonna do the same thing with it. Let's see if we can wake this battery up as well. All right, so this card has the EXX power, 51.2 volt, 105. We've tried to jump this right here battery pack with an additional 51.2 volt lithium. However, since it has the breaker here and it has the on and off switch on the gauge, and the gauge plug is into here, there's no on and off buttons on here. We can't get it power on that way, so we're gonna do the same thing we did with the mini trike and try to go in there, take the top off the battery and try to bypass the BMS in order to get some kind of response from it so we can get the uh, switch to turn back on so we can start charging it again. Customer says he loved it, but they let someone borrow it. And when they borrowed it, they just never did cut it off. So they just let it run completely dead. And um, I don't know, I just, you can't make this stuff up. So anyways, with that being said, that's what's going on. All right, so this is what the battery looks like here. All the cells nicely uh, lined up, nicely put together. There's like a clear uh, piece of plastic on top of the cells here. So we're gonna have a positive and a negative right here. And all of these screws have like a paste over them, kind of like protective, I guess. And then check this out, all of the Everything's on a ribbon cable. That's pretty slick there for this battery here. And they're labeled as well for each cell, but I think that's pretty slick. All right, got the voltmeter out. Notice one thing, I went ahead and checked something off camera. I'll try to put this here where y'all can see and I can see as well. Um, anyways, if we touch positive and negative output, like so we got one here, and one here. I'm trying to do this one hand and hold the camera at the same time. We're not getting any voltage, okay? We're getting 2.6 VOR here and there. So pretty much just like the mini trike. So what we need to do, power here, ground here, just to get the voltage up a little bit. And let's see if we can get this right here screen to turn on. Once we get the screen to turn on, I'm gonna plug the charger in, see if it'll take a charge. It's kind of scary doing this. Now, I'm gonna put the phone somewhere that you can see the gauge light up when I touch the battery, positive and negative. I don't have a tripod on me, so just uh, kind of trust me here and See the gauges flashing now. Power says it's off. 
the voltage is saying 12 volts. I think if we can get this right here up about 20 volts again, we might be able to get the charger to kick on. Every time I take the battery cable off and on, batteries look like it's going up in voltage a little bit. I think I just seen 31 volts just then. 29, 28. Forty-one volts for forty-two. We're making good connection right now. The voltage is going up. Forty-six volts. Battery charger still has not turned on. I think we're gonna keep going. See if we can get this right here a little bit higher. I think it's going up in voltage now. Forty-six point eight. So not sure what y'all can see or whatnot. So charger just kicked on. Here the charger. Here's the battery. I just took the batteries off. We're flashing. That worked. We had to charge the batteries up enough to kick the charger on. So you should be able to see that just there. I was positive here negative here and we're taking a charge there all right it's been a couple hours St everything is still charging we're at 54 percent right now charging around 18 amps so looks pretty good so i'm happy so far with that all right we are at a hundred percent state of charge so we're good to go on that. I had the seat being held up by the air gun there, but we're good to go. Happy about that. Let's see something here. Help if I put it on with it. Yep, it moves forward. Yep, good to go. Happy with that. Dodged a bullet. All right. Appreciate you watching this video. Till next time, we'll see y'all later.